the Guinness Handicap Chases next. This is a two and a half miler, 0 to 140. At the top, we've got Gold Coast for Craig Beckwith. Helter Skelter, Leon Van Rensburg, Luxor, Darren Thompson, Major Left, Alex Cherry, Shanbury, Brady, David Robertson, Angel Demon, Joshua Sutherland, Akane Byrne, Martin Lidham, Verglas, Alex Cherry, Rainbow Italia, Martin Lidham, Top Shelf, Craig Beckwith, San Vino, Stu Gray, The Ice King, Leon Van Rensburg, Psychopath for Graham Clutterbuck, Lanelli Sultane, and Heathcote Monarch for Thomas Rogers, Glory B Drama for David Robertson, and Media Agency for Paul Rhodes. So 17 then to face the starter in this one. Some good competitive races so far today. And I'm sure this one will be pretty much the same. They're away and racing. The rain has stopped and the grey, the Ice King, is to the fore early on. In fact, the grey is Hilter Skelter. Ice King is the way over on the far side as they get over the first of the 13. And we lost one already. Glory B drama's gone. So... The hero to zero, really, for David Robertson. Takes the punches down Gold Cup early on today. And out at the first in this one. So the Ice King gets to that ditch in front. And they all skip over that one nicely. With Heathcote Monarch in second. Gap of three or four then. Back to Gold Coast, who's in third. Then Verglas is fourth. And Chambry Brady with Major left after that. Then the Grey Leon van Rensburg horses Helter Skelter. Akane Burn and Angel or Demon next. Pretty wide on the track, those two towards the back top shelf is just the early back marker but it's the ice king he's got a three parts of a length lead to heathcote monarch as they get over number three just all over safely although the back marker top shelf was ponderous at best and the ice king it is that takes them along then this two and a half mile they're going plenty quick enough and they're quite well strung out already heathcote monarch is in second as they come past the big screen there and they'll pass the wooden post shortly i think there it is and Verglas is back in third with Lanelli Sultane fourth and then held the skill to the grey five. Then comes Major Left and Gold Coast and then Akane Burn and Rainbow Italia and Media Agency. And then Chambry Brady was after that one as they take the fourth. Which they're all over and again top shelf was a bit slower. I don't know if there's something maybe amiss with that one because it's not normally as ponderous as this over its fences. And I'm guessing that it's probably going to be pulled up quite soon. But the Ice King has opened up now into a good five length lead as they get over number five. Actually, to be fair to it, Top Shelf looks like he's running on again there. Uh, anyway, back up to the top end, it's the Ice King who really is pulling the pace to the race and leads by five. Heathcote Monarch is in second. Then comes Verglas and Lanelli Sultan as they take number six, which they're all safely over, including the back pair who are a little bit detached, San Vino and Top Shelf. But they're getting closer, and the Ice King continues to lead as they get to number seven, which is a ditch. Slow jump by the horse in second there. Heathcote Monarch, Verglas is just about third. And Lanelli Sultan and Gold Coast. And there's a big gap of about three or four lengths to Major Left and Chambry Brady and Rainbow Italia and Akane Burn and Hilda Skelter on the inside has just been shuffled down the pack a little bit. San Reno and Top Shelf getting considerably closer, which again makes you think the pace has been a little bit too hot. But the Ice King is still setting that pace, gets into number eight, attacked that fence well, got her away from it well as well. Heathcote Monarch is in second, big gap of six lengths or so then to Gold Coast in third as they make their way down towards the next. They're inside the final mile now and the Ice King is two lengths clear. Come into this plain one, gets over it nicely. Lanelli, uh, Heathcote Monarch was over it in second. Lanelli Sultane back in third, then Verglas and Gold Coast, then Major Left. Rainbow Italians after that one. Media Agency on the outside as they take number 10 and the leading pair might be just coming back to the pack a little bit now. Looking towards the back, top shelf's gone past that game. Burn and San Vino and he's making his way through the field but the Ice King is still a length clear from Heathcote Monarch in second Lanelli Sultane is in third gap back to Media Agency and Verglas and then Gold Coast who looks to be going well Rainbow Italia is trying to run on so too's Major Left and Chambry Brady this is the third from home over it they go and one down on his nose there was Media Agency but it's the Ice King who's in the lead stable mate Helter Skelter is now last but it's the Ice King for Leon Van Rensburg coming out of this final ditch the second from home over and he goes in the lead now on the outside Verglas is coming through also running on nicely now is Gold Coast Lanelli Sultane and Ethco Monica still there they've got one more to take and it's still the Ice King trying to make it pillar to post from Verglas in second Lanelli Sultane is third Gold Coast on the outside fourth gap back to Heathcote Monarch and Chambry Brady difficult to see anything else getting into it now they're coming 
now to the final fence then there's less than two furlongs to go and the Ice King has been in the lead all the way the Ice King still three clear over the final fence but a bit, a bit of a slower jump Gold Coast jumps in better on the outside the Ice King on the inside Gold Coast on the far side then comes Luxor top shelf has come from absolutely nowhere so too is Rainbow Italia it's the Ice King Gold Coast then comes top shelf and Luxor and Rainbow Italia they're racing up towards the line now look at this top shelf top shelf from last to first oh it's close it's close Goodness gracious me, that could be the finish of the season. If Top Shelf has won that, that horse was absolutely tailed off. And has it got up to win, or has Leon Van Rensburg won? It's won! Top Shelf has won! Well, well, well. Well, that has got to go down as the best win I've seen, I think, in this season. Top Shelf, watch that race again, was tailed off last and I was suggesting it was going to get pulled up, it was so far behind and it's come through with a wet sail and taken it on the line for Craig Beckwith, what a win don't even mind the fact that it's beaten mine that did a similar type of thing coming from the back Rainbow Italia for Martin Lidham second the long time leader, the Ice King, Leon Van Rensburg set up the finish of the season really and the horse that finished fourth was Gold Coast for Craig Beckwith again. The winning trainer looks for Darren Thompson was fifth. Yeah, we might have had dead heats in the champion hurdle and stuff, but you just watch that race again and let me know if you've seen a horse that far behind come through and win a competitive handicap like that. Absolutely brilliant.